Oh man, it's not. Makalele! What's the crack, lads? Is Makalele currently the best DMF in the game? We're going to compare him to other versions. We're going to talk about his skills. We're talk about his stats. Show you the best build for him. And of course, show you gameplay. This is the ultimate breakdown and review of Makalele. Let's get it. So lads, we're going to let the clips at the start speak for themselves. Makalele is probably the best chasing DMF in the game. He's got massive stamina. He covers every blade of grass. And he just covers so much of the pitch. Attacking and going backwards with the ball. Or even if he doesn't have the ball, that's kind of when he does his most work. So I kind of liken Makalele to kind of like a bee in the summertime. You're trying to eat a lovely ice cream cone. And he's just buzzing around you, frustrating you. And never giving up. And just really resilient because he wants a lick. But anyway, this Makalele card I think is probably the best version of him. But if you have the other version, we'll get into that towards the end of the video as well. And you'll just see from all the clips here, lads. I don't need to even talk about these. You can see that he's collecting the ball, he's moving the ball, he's making the ball uh, go forward. This is a brilliant chance creation here when it makes the run. First time shot as well with the outside of his boot or the inside of his boot and it's into the bottom corner. He doesn't even have first time shot. So this is kind of like the box to box extraordinaire that you want. So we do have a little training guide here um, that we're going to get into. But first we're going to show you his actual stats. And all he is, man, is a menace. That's all he is. You can see that he's 102 overall as a DMF as a destroyer and I definitely think he's part of a double pivot or somebody that is able to get behind him. I still think that as a DMF, your main line of defense, your main DMF should be like an extra center back. So that's why we use Vieira. Makalele doesn't have the height. We'll get into that in just a second when we talk about Vieira who's going to be beside him and not in competition with him in my squad. So that's something to keep in mind. If you have a Rodri or if you have a Rijkaard or a Vieira, I think that's what Makalele will do his best work. Uh, because you'll see here, time and time again, from the clips, Makalele is going to be mopping everything up. I call him Groundskeeper Willie from The Simpsons. He just mops everything up like the janitor. And that's what you want him to be. You want him to be a pest. You want him to be frustrating your opponent. We will see the comparison here between two destroyers. Vieira and Makalele. But there's a big height discrepancy. There's a big difference between how these players play. And this is where you kind of get into the nitty gritty uh, of, of, of the game and the game's mechanics and the animations. You can go through this comparison here. You can pause this video. But in all, for all intents and purposes, lads, Vieira is more of kind of like a long the limb stopper. Whereas Makalele is a cover all ground kind of player that is just buzzing around the place. And you'll see it. You can see Vieira here, how deep he is. We're going to just get rid of the ball the minute we get it with Makalele. We're not going to be trying to orchestrate. We're not going to be trying to do a lot of touch and goes. When the rare occasion comes that we're able to do it like we scored a goal with him, yes, you can go for it. That's not a problem because he does have good tight possession. We does have good low passing. And he does actually have one touch pass off the rip with his player skills. But you will see here again, this is just, you know, summing up what he does. Now, I like to call this the Maca zone. This is where you need Makalele to be. You can see that Vieira is behind him and Makalele is going to be in front of him. We're playing a double pivot DMF. So we've got Vieira sitting in between the two CBs as a deep line with deep line and defensive on his instructions. And then Maka is going to sit there in the pocket and watch where he ends up with the AI controlling him. Into the danger zone, it's an easy chance. It's into Kaka's feet, but who's there? Maka's there. So he's gone from the Maka zone into the danger zone and he's going to come out with the ball in both situations. So I definitely love playing with Makalele. I think he's even a step above Kante, who was my favorite kind of destroyer slash box-to-box -box slash defensive frustration players. I'm losing my breath. Um, and then it's just a simple pass. 104,000 XP. This is the build that we've actually gone for with him. Now, I might have a slight variation to this build depending on how you play. I wanted to have max speed, max defending as best as I possibly could, but I probably would tweak this ti a tiny bit if you play a little bit more kind of pass first rather than possession. I wanted his dribbling and his dexterity to be kind of equal to his lower body and his stamina. We'll get a full breakdown of his stats in a sec. Now this clip here just sums up what Makalele is all about. He goes shoulder to shoulder with Cafu and just absolutely eats him for dinner, man. And I mean eats him. Takes the ball, takes it across his goals. Simple little pass and we can reset and re-go again. And it's the same thing here. We've got a situation here where we're playing against a good opponent. We're 1-0 up and it's just about kind of like limiting, limiting what he's able to do. Not by so much doing anything spectacular. It's just being in the right place at the right time and being able to switch to him manually and just eating players 50-50. That's going to be his high physical contact, his stamina 
And of course, that balance as well, which gets a nice little boost with this car, which we'll get into in a second. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask also what skills to give him and how does he compare to the other Makalele. So let's get into that. So these are the skills that I would 100% give Makalele. I think you need Blocker. Blocker transforms this card. I would also throw on True Pass and a low loft to pass. If you can get a couple of those skills on him, I think you'll take him to the next level. Now, in saying that, you don't want Makalele to be Pirlo or Tony Cruz or De Bruyne. You're not going to be scoring a lot of goals at him. Essentially, what you're going to be doing is the minute that Makalele gets the ball, you're going to be looking for an outlet, whether that's through the middle, whether it's out wide, or even if it's back sometimes, if you're trying to play a little bit more competitively. But these are his skills off the rip, and these in the yellow are the skills I'd give him. Also, we're going to look at the comparison. So we have two Makaleles here. We've got the booster stats that are starred. So you've got the four boosters for the Makalele on the left, and you're comparing him to the Makalele on the right, which is the Chelsea version. So aggression, acceleration, physical contact, and stamina versus the other booster, Makalele, which is going to be defensive awareness, tackling speed, and stamina. And you can see from these comparisons here, they're very, very, very similar cards. I would reckon that the speed is going to be very similar and the acceleration and all that is going to be very similar. Where I think these cards kind of differentiate a tiny bit is the fact that you do need to kind of like control where you're playing Makalele on the pitch. It's not enough just to have him kind of like buzzing around if he's not able to be in positions to actually, you know, intercept the ball. And the game is so interception heavy at the moment, I do think you need somebody beside him to do that. But listen, for all, everything that we're saying here, Makalele is absolutely ridiculous. He's an amazing, amazing card. I think he's probably the pick of the cards, even including Cannavaro, Rafael Leao, any of the cards that released yesterday. So let me know what you guys think. Is he worth spinning if you have a similar card like Kante or if you have another version of Makalele? Probably not, to be honest with you, right? Probably not. But this Makalele is going to be kind of my endgame DMF with Vieira for the foreseeable future. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the review, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And also give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. If you didn't, get in touch with some constructive criticism in the comments below. I'll see you later. Peace.